There is, and KOCO has been following the news surrounding the county jail closely and Monday morning bringing on a new point, uh, new points of action, a warning letter and an executive session. Property near Dell City at 1901 East Grand Boulevard is the current location chosen for the new jail. At this week's special meeting, they will have an executive session where they'll talk with the county attorney about this property. And commissioners are receiving this letter from State Auditor Cindy Bird Monday morning, who says they haven't helped her in finishing the 2023 fiscal year audit, which she says could impact the county's current bond rating. They've hit many bumps in the road relating to the jail. One of those being zoning from Oklahoma City where the city voted no and now the county is looking at if they even need the city for zoning but that decision from the city stung. We feel a bit betrayed about that but we're going to continue to work forward and continue to work with the city and try to make something work and try to save a behavioral health center. That behavioral health center at risk. The county has $50 million of COVID relief money they've designated for that facility. However, the deadline for that money is coming up at the end of the year. Last week, commissioners met about this and now they may have to explore other options. It obviously always could be reallocated, but we were trying to keep it for this mental health component. You know, it was something we went to the voters with when we talked about approving a jail in 2022. So we wanted to fulfill that promise and keep it as a companion item. Commissioner Kerry Bloomer has not been a fan of this location since the beginning. And at last week's regular meeting, she brought up two new locations at the intersections of Southwest 74th and Rockwell and Reno and Exchange. Although she's been against the location, she says she understands time is running out. That was the one no vote against the grand site. I didn't like that site. I felt like I needed to stand with Dell City, but I also understand that we're under a time crunch and we have to move forward with something and we're trying to figure out what that something is. And as of now, the jail could cost more than $600 million. And in 2022, voters approved a $260 million bond and commissioners have told us that they're unsure on how they'll make up that difference. Reporting live, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.